Hello, El Grinio here, and let's jump straight into the Fulham tactics on the FM11 demo. Um, straight away, you're probably going to want to have your backups as uh, well. 442 is the pretty much the guaranteed bog standard formation you're going to want to use, and you're never want to going to want to stray too much from that, especially at home. Uh, away from home, you're likely. If you're not sticking to 4-4-2, you're going to go 4-4-1-1 or 4-5-1. And special focus areas, if you're Roy Hodgson, it's usually a defensive positioning. Um, that was generally our way of, well, breaking up teams' play, just getting those banks of four in. Um, learn everybody should know exactly where they've got to be at any given point in time. Um, so I'm just run through the player instructions or player roles, whatever you want to call them. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to burp. No, I'm not going to burp. Um, yeah, it's bog standards. See what we've got. Better hang around. Picking basically the main starting eleven you would uh, you would expect from a Fulham team. Um, yeah, just get that out of the way, and then I'll start going through like, player roles and things. And I should be using the. Uh, the first eleven. <sighs> Come on, be quicker. There we go. All right. So I'm back. To full backs and wing backs it doesn't make too much difference, to be honest. Um, depending, change that depending on your if you're at home. Obviously, you want them bombing forward, but you can always just do that in the uh, in the game. We're looking for overlaps and things. Um, but hang around is do 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 the stopper, which is probably one of the reasons that um that he's not moved on to a bigger club. They're not going to want players like that. They're going to want um well, yeah, they're not going to expect teams to be coming on to them and for them to be having to defend. For long periods of time. And on the wing, just wingers really. Especially when you've got any any of the wingers are, are quite simple really. I'd probably on an in game now I've actually changed and started using uh, Simon Davis a lot more because I think he's a lot more suited to it. And well yeah, just wingers really just don't like as long as you're playing with wide men because anyone who can feed the ball um, give a good cross into Bobby Zamora or whoever you want to play up front, David Elm. Um, the big guys, they're going to need a lot of uh, a lot of crosses in at them. Centre midfield is pretty easy. Danny Murphy is your playmaker, whether you want an advanced or deep line. I've done deep line just for the fact that he's getting on a bit and I don't want him to uh, get caught upfield, so to speak, instead of having to track back all the time. Uh, Dixon of two who he's probably more suited to the um, the ball winning midfielder type player but especially if you if you're looking at real life especially this season he's been looking to uh, he's been told to bomb on a lot more so you're going to want to stick him probably box to box in this game I mean obviously usually Noggin if you're playing like Arsenal Man U where you probably just want him as a ball winning midfielder just to break up the play and simply let the others uh, do the do their thing up top, and up top, Bob is more as well. It's it's minimal the difference to be honest. You can stick him as whatever you want. So if he's if he's in a pair, you can stick him defensive forward. You can stick him deep line. He can easily do that job. You can stick him the spearhead of attack, the target man. Just you got you just got to work it depending on what the. Uh, what the partners actually like up top. See if you got Andy Johnson. He's going to be the, when he's actually fit. He's going to be your uh, like your advanced forward, your poacher type player. Um, maybe whereas with Dembele, he's a bit more kind of drop deep, get the ball, turn and, and run at the defence. He's a bit more tricky if you're not playing him on the wing. Um, so he's going to be one to come a bit deeper. Um, so if you're doing that, obviously. Stick Bobby Z as say an advanced or a target man or whatever you see as fit. Um, 
by female things, um, sky pop into the team instructions in a second, I would hope. And yes, I do. Obviously, your playmaker is going to be Murphy, your target man is going to be looking to be Bobby Zamora, and probably mixed in there because he's not actually as great in the air as he probably should be. Um, his style is going to be balanced, passing style. Either way, you can go a bit longer if you've got the likes of Bobby's ears, target man up there. Uh, I've actually set closing down to um, to stand off more, but that's generally just in getting the two backs of four behind the ball. Um, don't think it's particularly working in this game, um, but that's something to to look at. Um, I think that's about it. I've done stick to position, but then I've tweaked it in the way we like our two wingers actually um, switching every now and again. So I think I set that now, and I've had the two wings to be able to swap position any time throughout the game. That's about it, really. You can download the the file which is online. I'll put the link in the description. And thanks for listening. Bye bye.